you admittedly don't have too many unique pieces of equipment here, but you, you wanted to talk about uh, this particular piece, which is, a, it looks like a padded undershirt. Tell us what, how that's useful. Yeah, you know, there's, uh, there's a couple of spots in your chest pad, uh, like, like the rib, rib cage and uh, collarbones, but usually are not that protected. So, so I, I got the shirt, uh, not the particular shirt, but uh, this brand like four years ago. Yeah. To, uh, to protect those spots and uh, you know, a lot of guys, Timmy uses his a little different, but uh, you know, it's just it's got the protection on the ribs and, uh, and uh, the chest area here. So you know, just trying to uh, not get hurt so bad out there, and uh, I think it's worked pretty good. Your mask, you've stuck with the same basic logo for the last few years. You maybe explain why you stuck with it and, and, and uh, why you like this particular band. You know, I. I never came up with this idea at first, but I just wanted to have something, you know, a bear and uh, logos mm -hmm. of the Providence Bruins and Boston Bruins, and, and then the, the painter, obviously the Finnish flag I wanted up on the back, and my name. The painter came up with that uh, when I first started in Providence, and then I'm bad with those ideas. I never wanted to uh, change it. I tried something different last year, but, uh, but the actual mask didn't fit as well as this one and then uh, I had the one from Winter Classic which is which is down in my agent office in Chicago right now but uh, you know I think well, some of the fans are giving me a good, good uh, feedback on that paint job too so I never figured to not change it. Uh, the other piece uh, which actually I recognize from my, my Little League days is a uh, baseball uh, batter's glove. Why do you use that? The, the, the glove gets really, the catcher glove gets slippery so uh, Again, about four years ago, I started using a, a glove, not like this, but uh, when I got up here, Scotty Waugh, the Red Sox trainer, he gave me a couple of uh, Red Sox batting gloves, which actually got the, the Major League Baseball logo on it, too, so it's pretty cool. And it, 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 it stays pretty dry, and it gets a good grip on it, the glove, and your, your palm of your hand doesn't get wet, so, so it doesn't feel slippery. So that's pretty much why I use it.